hello and welcome everybody my name is Brutus and in today's video I'll be showing you how you can actually use the melted iron in or the melted metal in the pottery table in green hell now before we get started please make sure to leave a thumbs up as it'll help out my channel a lot in the YouTube algorithm plus it'll show your appreciation for the video while you're down there make sure to subscribe as it's free to do and you can always unsubscribe at any time now with that being said let's get straight into this video okay so as you guys can see right over there there's already three metal in there but you can get metal by smelting cans or raw iron in the forge now you will need at least two of the melted iron as you can see there I have one melted iron all right there but you only need two um, now getting straight into the point where you don't need to put all three in this bowl you only need to put one in there and then one in your inventory okay now you will need a mold as well I am pretty sure I do have molds no I don't now getting molds is very very easy you just harvest a mud brick and that'll actually give you three molds but for this video I am just going to require two molds and uh, yeah so what you want to do is you want to let's say you want to craft a stone blade which is relatively easy and there's a couple of molds that you can actually make on the crafting table and uh, if I get it right here so you can actually make a mm, let's see molds there's an armor mold you can make there's a arrow mold axe mold and a blade mold so that's the four new recipes for the well not four new recipes but the four secret recipes for the pottery table now as you can see I've got a stone blade right here and I want to put the empty mold onto it and the molted metal that way you can actually get a blade uh, mold I'm gonna craft it there we go there's and it just dropped the blade as well it's because I have more than enough space but if I go to the crafting table now I can actually switch to the next item and that'll give me the blade mold now I do have this one right here but as you can see I can harvest it and what that'll actually do is it'll take the metal out of it the metal ore now there's still three in there and there's one right here but I can select four ingredients now that's a blade mold right over there now this requires one empty mold metal iron is uh, one and water is ten now if I hold to make it it'll take a mold from the bottom and I'll take a ore from the or a metal iron from the side I can put that back and I can grab two of the normal molds and put them back in there as well now I can craft another one I can continue on now what you do from there on is you do have a blade mold right here and you come and you put this into a forge but unfortunately my forge is occupied but you put it into the forge and right after that you can just harvest it and that will give you the blade what you actually wanted or if you want an arrow or an axe mold whatever you feel like it'll give that to you the mo uh, the, the, the thing you've molded so for example that's a blade mold so that'll give me an iron blade after it cooked up now mine won't cook up because I'm out of charcoal I'm actually waiting for this forge or this uh, whatever this thing is called the mud fire thing I don't know to cook up more charcoal so I can actually use that but that's how you get more molds now if you want to get a axe mold for example you just take I'm gonna read to you guys the ingredients you just need to make the mold then it will be available at the crafting table now an arrow mold or an armor mold is uh, one empty mold uh, one melted iron ore and one stick that'll give you the armor uh, mold the metal armor mold getting the arrow mold is one empty mold one melted iron ore and a arrow the axe mold is one empty mold one melted iron ore and stone axe that'll give you the the axe mold and then the blade mold is one I have just done so that is how to get more ingredients on the 
crafting table now I'm pretty sure that's permanent because it is a blueprint right there or a ghost uh, figure as they call it in the Wikipedia so yeah that is how you can use and utilize the crafting table into getting more molds well thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one as well